Hi guys, welcome to my channel and thank you so much for tuning in. I am Miss Gobedi and today I'm bringing to you a very, very exciting video. So Simo has finally put up her sleek bun hair tutorial on her YouTube channel. And I decided because I have natural hair and I actually never wear my hair in any other style besides an afro or wigging it. Let me try something new today and see how that will come up for me. So I am going to be following Sino's sleek hair band tutorial. So stay tuned. <laughs> I am really, really hoping that it comes out great. I literally hardly ever try anything with my hair. And I feel like I'm just going in for the big fish. And also, I don't have the products that she's using in her video, but she did mention that you can use stuff that you prefer or use whatever products you have. So that is exactly what I'm going to be doing. So I received the Clicks After True Natural Hair Product. I'm going to be using the hydrating gel and the curl cream to achieve this look and I am really praying that it comes out good because I've literally been trying to film this video over and over and over again today and my lighting was not agreed. So now that the lighting is sort of kind of trying to behave, let's just hope the products do also. For her tutorial, she used two scrunchies, water in a spray bottle, a hard brush. This is not a hairbrush, guys. I'm just sorry. The ball bristle brushes are so expensive, and I just grabbed whatever brush I had in the house. I really hope that I'm not gonna destroy my hair by using this, but she did say that the brush should have hard bristles, and these are pretty hard. She also used a comb like this in her tutorial um yeah let's get straight into it if you're wondering why i have these ridiculous hair plants in my hair because in her tutorial she recommended that if you haven't done this hairstyle before but you stretch your hair overnight using twists now your girl cannot do twists for jack that is why i did the three strand plates it takes a long time to do a long time to take out but hey, at the end of the day, I'm gonna have stretched hair and <laughs> I hope that the hair will still come good, okay? The first step that she did is saturated her hair with water in the twist, so in my case the three-strand braid, so I'm going to do exactly that. And she keeps emphasizing that you need to make sure that your hair is drenching wet and not just damp. So yeah, that is exactly what we are going to do. goodness there's water dripping everywhere she says to wait for 30 seconds for the hair to absorb water so that is exactly what we are going to do let's stop the countdown y'all have I done majority of my hair off camera and tied the bag with a sprangy I'm just going to complete the rest of my hair now So now we're going to open our line using the back of our comb pointy side. 
rap in the trap. Asses are wrapped up, put us on the map, but the rap for internet traffic. My plans are bigger than all of that, so relax and let's all we handle it. Damn it, understand this on any track, I'll wreak havoc. I'm always pushing the limit, cause forfeiting's a weak habit. Yeah, that's why I'm here, been grinding through all these years. My moment is... I have no faith in this line being straight, but... A boy just straight in the middle of my face, but hey man, we'll just see how it goes as we go. that's good enough she then went in with her brush but she didn't really section her hair I'm just going to do that because I feel like my hair is better manageable when it is in sections than when it is just out flying like this I'm just going to take this side and tie it back like this Now off to the scary part. I am literally terrified because I never use a brush for my hair and it's the detangling brush. I'm a bit nervous but if Sita can do it, so can I. So I'm just gonna brush my hair out. She does mention that if your hair is dry, it's gonna be a bit difficult to brush. So I kinda went in again with my spray just in today for control. So I... I'm going to just brush my hair. I really want to cry right now. Like, what am I doing? <gasps> Guys. Edges are gone. I just went like, gone. My fall braids really showed me flames when I took them out. But I know my hair recovers really well and really quickly, so I'm not really that worried. Okay, let's see what she does next. Whew. I just realized I made a cock up because I only have two hair scrunchies and I potted my hair into three, so I had to. <laughs> let this one loose and i'm going to tie back the hair that i've already brushed uh, and i tie it far back oh my goodness this is an arm workout and half Because I have no idea I'm going to get the scrunchie, I'm just going to wear my big girl panties and try and work with two sections instead of three. All the way back, don't tie it forward because the mission is to get it all the way back, right? This should take you about 15 minutes. This ain't easy, y'all. Okay, now that I'm back with the program and have two pods instead of two, let's continue with the tutorial, shall we? Now for the challenging part. She mentions that you should only add product to wet hair. Okay, check. But I just realized that she specifically said to use butter. And this product that I have here is a curl cream which I feel like might contribute to my hair looking wavy if it actually gets to that part I'd be grateful if it does so yeah, I'm not sure if I'm going to be promoting some sleekness or some curls 
but this is literally the only thing that I have which is quite shameful for somebody who has natural hair but hey let's see if this product works I'm actually quite curious to see if it does it would be great if it did so I am also going to add a generous amount of my cream look something like this That's not, that is definitely not enough I really hope that this cream is not gonna leave a white residue because that would totally defeat the whole purpose of this look <sighs> always talking about not having ashy makeup now imagine having ashy hair A quick tip from Miss Sino is that the cream or the pudding or the butter that you just used on your head serves as a protective layer between your hair and the gel because gel doesn't really have a value to hair. It's just for styling purposes. Make sure that after you've rocked your hairstyle to just rinse off your hair and get rid of the gel because I also realized whenever I use gel on my hair it kind of starts to break and you do not want to find yourself in that situation the next step is to go with your edge control along the edges and she explains the line to be an edge also because your hair is kind of moving you get me <clears throat> I thought that I didn't have edge control actually I should consider myself not having one because I've had this one for quite a long time and I'm not even sure if it hasn't expired uh, but I'm gonna use it anyway I'm, I'm even ashamed to show it to you guys because it is so raggedy it's the branding is gone it's just it's a mess but anyway it is the isoplast hairline and edge holding cream so I'm going to use that and hope that my hair doesn't start falling out just along the edges of my hair like Sina did to lay down my hair along whatever edges are showing so this is an edge because this is an edge because there's a line like I definitely need to wash my hair after this because wow doing the things can you see it looks looks really rough on camera but it's not so bad in person I think oh my mirror is still lying to me okay I feel like this is really a crucial step because it's looking quite nice I'm now going to go in with my gel. Again, this is the Clix Afri True Natural Curl Power Hydrating Gel. Uh, I really hope it works as brilliantly as hers does because, wow. I've used this gel a couple of times just for my edges though. It's not really flaky, but if you wear it for a too prolonged time, you will start realizing that age, hey, girl. No, it's time. It's time to wash your hair. Yeah, you know, guys, isn't it funny how fashion works? Because I know growing up. We used to resent this hairstyle back in my day. 
back in my day. When I was still a wee little baby, we used to call this hairstyle Nyeke and we used to resent it so much. But now it's it's in fashion again. So yeah. I don't necessarily put the gel in the way because I don't need it at the back because I'm really tying my hair to the back. She doesn't put the gel everywhere. I'm also not gonna do that. Um but it's time to make sections come together. Just going to add some more gel. Guys, my hair just need a rescue. If you guys have any tips on how I can speed up the growth of my edges, I would really, really appreciate it. I'm quite nervous about this because even from when I had relaxed hair, the hair at this part of my head could just never lie flat. So, whew. I think my line is very skew at this particular moment. It's quite skew. But okay. Okay. Almost there. So I'm gonna strategically almost there. Out the other pony tie without letting the wig go. So now the hair won't be like absolutely straight. So you just have to brush it down. this hair look today I'm telling you this is gonna be my go-to hairstyle for the whole of summer because this whole week life is not doing me so well in summer it is so hot it is just so hot yeah. Right now I'm just shifting gears to the 
the day to all it's clear That I've never kissed a real to get it clear That shit is clear, now listen here A lot of kids are very weird Eating papa call biscuit on the plate Very weird, did you hear? Did you care? Did you think about it? Why'd you let it slide? Was it fear? Then again, a lot of us deserve a shine So I'm here, doing it, freestyle Friday Tori kicks the coolest shit Cause I did it my way See, Tori is the leader To achieve extra sleekness, I'm going to wear a damp wet a wet satin scarf just to make sure that all the flying hairs are laid down nicely And of course, last but not least, the most important part of the sleek hair do is our statement earrings. Um, she also wore hoops in her in her tutorial. I'm gonna do the same. I got these, however, from Small Street, some random shop there. I honestly don't know what it's called. I'm just gonna pop these on. So yeah, this is what the final look came out like. I am super impressed with the final result. I was so, so nervous. I didn't actually think it was going to come out right in my very, very first try. So thank you, Sino, for pulling through with a very elaborate and insightful tutorial. I'm quite happy with these products. I wasn't sure if they were going to work well. But they actually did and considering that it is being natural without breaking the bank, honey, for me, that is a plus because natural hair products can be super expensive. So yeah, thank you, Sino, for the tutorial. I'm definitely going to be wearing this style more often. It was super easy to do, actually, considering how difficult I thought it would be. Once again, thank you so much for tuning in. I am Miss Govay. Please remember to give this video a thumbs up and leave your comments. Like, I'd really, really love to hear what you guys think about this hairdo. Should I wear it more often? Is it a woohoo or a boohoo? Would you try it? And also, what other hairstyles would you guys like to see me try? And most importantly, please remember to subscribe. I love you guys and I'll see you in my next video. Mm-hmm. <laughs>